Dear Mother Earth, There are those of us who walk the earth, searching for a promised land elsewhere, not realizing that you are the wondrous heaven they have been looking for their whole lives, present and available in this very moment. You are already a wonderful and beautiful kingdom of heaven, the most beautiful planet in the solar system, the most beautiful place in the heavens. You are the pure land where countless Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the past manifested, realized enlightenment and taught the Dharma. I do not need to imagine a pure land of the Buddha to the west or a kingdom of God above where I will go when I die. Heaven is here on earth. The kingdom of God is here and now. I don't need to die to be in the kingdom of God. In fact, I need to be very much alive. I can touch the kingdom of God with every step. When I touch the present moment in the historical dimension deeply, I touch the kingdom. I touch the pure land. I touch the ultimate and I touch eternity. In deep contact with the earth and the wonders of life, I touch my true nature. The exquisite orchid flower, the ray of sunshine, and even my own miraculous body. If they do not belong to the kingdom of God, what does? Contemplating the earth deeply, whether a floating cloud or a falling leaf, I can see the no birth, no death nature of reality. With you, dear mother, we are carried into eternity. We have never been born and will never die. Once we have realized this, we can then appreciate and enjoy life fully, no longer afraid of aging or death not caught in complexes about ourselves, nor yearning for things to be different than they are. We already are, and we already have what we are looking for. The kingdom of heaven exists, not outside of us, but within our very own hearts. Whether we are able to touch the kingdom of God or not at every step, depends on our way of looking, our way of listening, our way of walking. If my mind is calm and peaceful, then the very ground I am walking on becomes a paradise. There are those who say that in their heaven there is no suffering. But if there is no suffering, how can there be happiness? We need compost to grow flowers, and mud to grow lotuses. We need difficulties in order to arrive at realizations about them. Enlightenment is always enlightenment about something. Dear Mother, I promise to cultivate this way of looking. I promise to enjoy the practice of dwelling peacefully with mindfulness in the here and the now, so I can touch the pure land, the kingdom of God, day and night. I promise that with every step I will touch eternity. With every step I will touch heaven here on earth.